Welcome to the first of ODOT's video series on ADA compliant curb ramps. ODOT is committed to the safety of pedestrians, especially those with disabilities. We seek to improve the design of crosswalks, curb ramps, and other infrastructure so they can be used safely. This video will summarize our process for designing, constructing, and inspecting curb ramps, including some changes that go into effect in July 2020. The video will also cover the process of getting a waiver for situations where a standard curb ramp is not feasible. Further details will be available from the other videos in the series. The requirements for curb ramps in Ohio are set out in three places. The Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, the Public Right-of-Way Accessibility Guidelines, or PROAG, and the Ohio Revised Code. The ADA requires public entities, when constructing or altering streets, roads, and highways, to provide compliant curb ramps at intersections where curbs or other barriers exist between the street level and the pedestrian walkways. However, the ADA accessibility guidelines do not address the unique challenges of dealing with sidewalks, street crossings, and other elements of the public right-of-way. For this reason, the federal government recommends using PROWAG. PROWAG is considered the best guidance for public rights-of-way. Finally, the Ohio Revised Code requires that all new or reconstructed curbs shall have curb ramps at each pedestrian crosswalk so that the sidewalk and street blend to a common level. When roads are resurfaced, it may be necessary to rebuild the curb ramps. A few basic rules apply. Curb ramps should be located entirely within the marked crosswalks, where those exist. Curb ramps should never be located where a drainage grate or access cover may interfere with a wheelchair or a walking cane. Nonetheless, curb ramps need to be adequately drained. Where there is a curb and a sidewalk, a curb ramp is required. Where there is only a curb, a curb cut is required. Where there is only a sidewalk and no curb, a blended transition is required. More on that later. Several types of curb ramps are currently used. These types of ramps are divided by tiers, with Tier 1 being the most desirable. Tier 1 is the perpendicular curb ramp. Tier 2 is the combined ramp, which is like two ramps in one. Tier 3 is the parallel curb ramp. Tier 4 is the diagonal curb ramp. In some cases, a blended transition may be acceptable. On July 17, 2020, ODOT's guidelines regarding curb ramps were updated. We made a few key changes. Standards for the slope of curb ramps and sidewalks will be changed. The design has been updated for some types of curb ramps that have been approved for use. The grade of a ramp must not exceed 0.0769 or 13 to 1. The cross slope of the ramp and sidewalk must not be greater than 0.0156. Note that this is a change from a grade of 0.08 or 12 to 1 and a cross slope of 0.02.
For situations where a standard ramp cannot be used, a waiver process has been created. Each curb ramp will have a unique identifier that you can either find or create in the ADA Collector app. Stop points and an evaluation form have been created to help evaluate compliance of a curb ramp during construction.